These empty sidewalks have been filling the mind of Elon Alderwoman Emily Sharp. I'm not a wait around kind of person and I wanted to get things going. During an international pandemic, Sharp says she had to do something. She started a GoFundMe page to raise money to buy meals for healthcare workers, first responders, and other essential employees. Our fire departments, our police departments, our public works, our postal workers, um, maybe even some of the child care workers. And all the funds raised go right back into this community. All the meals will be bought from local businesses. If we lose these people, we don't just lose good food. That's not our only loss. Our town is heavily funded by sales tax. So when the students are not here, we're not bringing in the funds. An initiative that didn't go unnoticed by Oak House owner Phil Smith. We're doing probably 20% of our normal sales. Smith says this time of year is typically when he can save for when Elon students leave for the summer. Is we know how to deal with it for a week or a long weekend or even June and July, but going from late February all the way through uh, you know, into August is going to be very, very difficult for folks. Difficult, but not impossible, says Sharp, with a little help from the people who should be walking these empty sidewalks. 50% of all Elon residents, students included, were to give $10 each. I mean, that's $60,000. And we could do so much for these businesses. Liam Collins, Elon Local News.